Meu nome é da? É tudo aí, vamos lá. I do have something called. What's it called again? I have to think about it because it's a long name. I have something called post viral. Post viral exhaustion syndrome, I think. So I got this thing after I had mono, and it's been sticking with me ever since. <laughs> so it just makes me more tired, more exhausted, and easier exhausted. It's kind of like chronic exhaustion disease, except from that, I can like there's a reason why i feel this way and it's not as bad but it's still pretty bad i get very exhausted and can't even begin to imagine unless you have something similar because Good morning! It's the 9th of December and I'm up. I'm up and about. We have actually quite a bit of work to do today. Oh, I'm getting tired just thinking about it and I'm just, <laughs> just joking. I have to clean my car. My dad wanted me to clean my car so I have to do that. And then at 4 I have actual work. I have to go to work. And then I'm going to my boyfriend's house, so that's that's what we're doing today. So like not a lot, but a lot for me, <laughs> you know. So let's go. Okay, so I'm ready. I am out cleaning my car in the garage, and it's minus one degree Celsius, minus two degrees Celsius. So I am dressed up in warm clothes and I don't think this is gonna take very long it's probably just gonna take 15 minutes but it's got to be done it's one of those boring things that you have to do when you get a car so And we're all done. Woo! I'm done cleaning my car. My car is pretty nice and looking good right now. Now I just have to kill a little bit of time before I have to go get my brother. But it's only like 10 minutes, so. So I'm here to get my brother and this was actually my old elementary school. So my brother is actually just right there playing I believe that's my brother but I don't know if you've seen me yet yeah this is where I went to elementary school we were it's a really small school like we were about 80 students here when I went here so not a lot and I probably shouldn't be filming all the kids that's my bad I shouldn't be filming the kids but yeah I'm just sitting here 
and people probably can see me talking to the camera but that's fine so there's still some of my old teachers here I can see and it's been quite a while since I went to elementary school I quit when I was 12 13 and now 20 so it's been seven years yeah and now my brother is coming so <laughs> As I mentioned, I'm going to work, and when I go to work, I don't usually like to. I have to film a vlog. Yes, I do. As I mentioned, I'm going to work. And today I don't really feel like putting on a full face of makeup, so I'm just doing like the bare minimum. I'm just fixing my eyebrows a little bit. And this is with the Give Me a Brow, of course. My holy grail. Then just a little bit of this ColourPop blush stick. I don't know what shade this is in. I'm just kind of warming it up on my arm here just really using my arms to blend that up my fingers i think that was a little, a little much i'm then popping on some highlighter i'm gonna go in with the light stick by colourpop first just a little bit then taking my elf highlighter small coat of mascara Now all I'm missing is my uniform, but I'm gonna put that on like right before I leave because it's kind of uncomfortable and I want to chill in my sweats before I go. Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day. Uh, you shouldn't vlog and drive, but I'm a bad girl, so you know, I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me Yeah, I was just listening to some Harry Styles because you know Harry Styles and I realized it's only three days until he drops a new album. So I'm psyched like I'm psyched And he's even dropping the album on one of my best friends birthdays and she isn't even a Harry Styles fan. Like, she likes his music, but she doesn't appreciate it. And me and my other best friend, who are big Harry Styles fans, find Harry Styles fans, find this very unsettling and so unfair. But, you know, it's lit. Me and my other best friend, Ellen, the one we did, the one I did a video with, two videos with actually, we're going to see Harry Styles. <laughs> first of May he's coming to Norway we're so excited we actually did see Harry Styles the last time he was in Norway so in 2018 I believe and it was great but because we were in the mosh pit like we were in the front in the front I'm pretty sure Harry Styles saw me like I don't want to don't want to come to conclusions but I'm pretty sure he saw me like I am a tall giraffe me and I was with Oscar my other friend oh, Scott, shout out to you babe I know you're watching and he's also tall like he's almost two meters long so we're both tall we're stood side by side because you know he supported me when I almost fainted shout out thank you so this time me and Erlen we're just gonna chillax relax we have seated seats so we don't have standing seats which is actually pretty good because then we don't have to stand in line for seven hours yes i actually have stand, stood in line for i think six hours i think that's the 
longest I've ever stood in line for a concert, but six hours is a pretty, pretty long time. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get tipsy and have fun with Harry Styles. Well, I've just been to the dermatologist. I had an appointment there at 8 and now it's 8.45 and it went great. She said I'm reacting to the medication like amazingly. All my blood tests are fine. They're actually great. She said that my blood tests are perfect. So you know I might not get 100% in school but I'm getting 100% on the blood test. Yeah bitches. Woo! I'm sorry I'm in a weird mood today. But I guess that's fine. So, the vlog pretty much went dark yesterday. I just, after I went to work, I couldn't film much there, obviously. And after I went to work, I went to my boyfriend's house and we just kind of chilled and had a nice time together. And that's what we did. We just watched some TV. Actually, we didn't watch TV. We just talked, ate food. We went to the store to buy some food. That's basically all we did. And yeah, today I went to the dermatologist, as I said, couldn't film it or anything. It was just, it, I think it took five minutes, literally. She just asked me about my side effects. I just told her about the cuts in my vagina. She said that that's, could be normal. Uh, yeah, you know, that ish. And now I'm going home. I'm gonna go eat, oh, oh sorry. I'm gonna eat a little bit at home and then at 10.30 I have a workout session with my trainer with my trainer I'm saying that like he's my personal trainer he's not I have a workout session with my physical therapist uh, so yeah that's what we're doing today ladies and gents so I think I'll just bring you guys along actually I know I'll bring you guys along okay See you guys later! I should probably stop vlogging and driving! <laughs> Bye! Okay, so I'm just outside the gym and I'm gonna try to film some stuff. I'm not sure if I'll be able to because, you know, there might be a lot of people. It's a little uncomfortable to film yourself in the gym, but I will try to get a little bit of footage at least, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah, wish me luck. I finished my workout and I just went into the grocery store and I actually work at the grocery store we have here. We have two but I work at one of them so I had to stop by that one. Uh, and one of my co-workers actually brought me to my boss so I have to work tonight because she was like oh are you free? And I said yeah because I'm free. And then they asked if I could work. So I'm gonna work tonight. Go oh, well, getting that cash. I need it to say so. I just I don't really feel like working, but you know what? It's only three three hours, which is not a lot at all. So I can for sure do that. And it's cash, it's money. I need the money, so. I'm car vlogging again as you can see. Also, I'm waiting on three parcels from Misguided that hasn't arrived yet. They haven't arrived yet. And Misguided usually comes within a week. I like a week and a couple of days, but it usually comes within a week. And now it's been almost two weeks since Black Friday and I kind of want my clothes because I wanted to do a Black Friday haul but 
it's gonna be a late one. I also ordered some uh, jumpers from Misguided. And they haven't been shipped yet. That's a week ago. Misguided, no, not Misguided. From Naked. Naked is like based in Norway. I think they have come, I think they have like a three to five day shipping in Norway. It usually comes within three days, I heard. And it hasn't even shipped yet. Luckily I got a discount code though, so. But, yeah. I'm just having some lunch. Some spaghetti with avocado, cucumber and arugula salad and some garlic bread. <laughs> I'm also watching some CSI Miami while eating. I'm getting my brother from school and this is what I arrived to. Oh no, his pants are all snowy. He better not get in my car like that. I swear to God, if he comes here, with those snowy ass pants. <laughs> he won't be able to get in my car. I'll leave him. Confession time. I had a big fat nap. I woke up from it, ate some dinner, got ready for work. Now I'm filling out some au pair forms. I know it's a little bit early to be filling out the au pair forms because I'm actually not going to be an au pair until September next year, August, September next year. But there's like a lot of things you have to do. You have to get a police certificate. You have to get like your record on a paper and to show that you don't have a record. You have to get a medical information and like a doctor's certificate. You have to write a personal letter on two pages you have to write like a post letter post letter you should write a postcard to your kids it says here that you should write a postcard to your kids to get a better application and overall there's like a lot of forms i have two forms here medical form police certificate form and then the au pair registration form from Europe. Now I'm going with Atlantis Exchange because my parents want me to go with a bureau so that I have like extra security and stuff. I know it's a little early to fill out the things but I'm just really excited and I just want to fill them out. It doesn't hurt to fill them out now. It's not like anything's gonna change not like the basic things at least <laughs> i'm not gonna change a birth date in six months that not that's not happening <laughs> i'm not gonna change my name in six months so that's what i'm doing right now and i'll be going to work pretty soon Hi. i'm done with work and i'm enjoying myself with some nice vegan buttered popcorn and CSI Miami I'm in my element y'all there's one thing you should know about me it's that I absolutely love popcorn and by love popcorn I mean <laughs>